Hello friends and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathbun Sutton. Today is September 6th and the title of our devotional is Surely Your Sins Will Find You Out, written by Ella Louise Smith-Simmons. Our Bible verse is found in Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 27. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. Ella Louise writes, It all started so innocently. First, we had to travel overseas beginning during Sabbath hours. Then, while sitting at the gate awaiting our flight, I pulled up Amazon.com on my cell phone to read the preview of a book I had planned to use for sermon illustrations. It doesn't get more Sabbath appropriate than that. But then something happened. As I attempted to open the book review window, somehow my finger slipped and hit the express purchase button, making a transaction. While I felt uneasy at being Sabbath, I was not truly alarmed because my plan was to purchase this book at some point in the near future anyway. Yet the uneasiness persisted. My conscience was unrelenting. My only consolation was that this was a private error between the Lord and me. It would not harm or lead others astray, although I was truly sorry for my carelessness. Little did I know just how sorry I would be. My phone rang. I answered. A woman's voice said she was calling for my credit card's fraud department. Now I would have to confess making a purchase on the Sabbath. The good news was the department was alerted because my purchase was out of character for me. I thanked God for this small bit of testimony and kept explaining to the agent, probably to her bewilderment, that this was an accident. The situation worsened. The bad news she brought was that there were, had been three additional charges immediately following the one of my errant finger. Those were not mine, but to my relief, she assured me those charges had been already denied. Then the worst news was yet to come. My credit card had been accessed, so we had to cancel my credit card. Several weeks later, I was still contacting various airlines, hotel chains, and automobile rental agencies to change my account information. We reap what we sow, even in carelessness. Ellen White has cautioned that we should jealously guard the edges of the Sabbath. Oh, had I done so. Let us pray constantly that, by the loving grace of our Heavenly Father, we will be filled with the Holy Spirit and walk in His statutes just naturally. Ella Louise Smith-Simmons is a Vice President at the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists in Silver Spring, Maryland, United States of America. She is the first female to hold this position. A veteran educator, she has served as Provost, Academic Vice President, and Professor in Church and Public Sector Universities. She is married to Nord, and they have two children, three grandchildren, and one great-grandson. Of course, we must be careful not to sin, but sometimes there are mistakes, and things just happen. But even through them, God, through His Holy Spirit, convicts us and helps us get through them. No matter how big or how small whatever we did may be, God is always there with his arms open, ready to forgive us. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness, for your mercy, for your love, and for giving us the Holy Spirit that always leads us to righteousness. I hope you guys are blessed. You enjoy today's devotional, and I will see you again tomorrow.